everybody and welcome back to New Jersey Real Estate Training, your number one resource for free realtor training in the Garden State. My name is Dave Blinder, your head instructor. I'm a licensed real estate agent at EXP Realty in New Jersey, as well as a mentor for our brokerage. Today I'm here to guide you through your journey into becoming a successful real estate agent. And we're looking at New Jersey MLS. We're going to be setting up automated property alerts to buyers. Uh, some people like to call that a drip campaign. So I'm already logged in as an active agent on New Jersey MLS. I'm going to begin by clicking on prospects, add new prospect. And anytime you're learning a new MLS, I highly recommend you add yourself as a new client or prospect to better learn these systems and to know what any automatic emails actually look like as a recipient as well. It's, it's a great practice and trial run to familiarize yourself with these systems. You should know what everything looks like and how it works. Uh, mandatory fields here are first, last name, uh, email address. I'm going to hit continue to keep breezing through this. That brings us up to this field. I'm going to click on active prospect, regular prospect, reverse prospecting. I'm going to leave in the full of yes. Just going to get through this quickly. We absolutely need to auto email the prospect. That's the point of this uh, trial run. Uh, don't have to select email agent and we don't want to send manually. We're trying to automate and speed things up. Customer greeting. Uh, your client will see that in the body of every one of these emails going out. Don't leave this blank. Put some thought into this. Hi, David. I wanted to share the newest listings with you. Do you want to schedule to see any of these homes? I am most happy to assist you. Something like that, something cordial, call to action of sorts. Uh, you don't want to leave that blank. I choose not to get very wordy either. Keep it, keep it simple. Makes a lot of sense to me. Prospect interval is at your discretion. How often are these automated emails being sent from the MLS? Immediate, they'll go out right away. Um, something like daily would summarize the new listings on a daily basis, or you could opt for um, something less frequent if you thought they could be intrusive depending on your client's needs and timeline. So put some thought into this stuff. I'm going to leave this as immediate in case they're uh, a very motivated buyer who demands to know what's going on um, in real time. This is if they had chosen to opt out already. Uh, email new messages is you'll be sent an email when your client um, attaches information to a listing. You will choose yes if they're writing notes or have a question. Display tax information as a um, tax report from public records to detail view of the listing. I'm going to select no. I don't think that's necessary. And the property taxes annually, I believe, still appear on the record even if you select no. Show recent UC under contract and sold listings. Um, if you wanted to have the client get a better feel for their market, what's going on, to be able to research what the houses are selling for, I would leave this as yes, up to you. Display open houses, which is another discretionary field. Do you want them to know about all the open houses and have the opportunity to go visit them? Or are you not yet comfortable sending them out into the wilds of real estate open houses to uh, meet and mingle with many different listing agents? Up to you. Enable property search lets them look for additional listings that are outside the criteria we're about to set up for them. Let's say yes. Uh, comments could be maybe some notes you have about them. I prefer to keep these in my database, such as KV Core. More optional fields. I am going to click on add search here, though, and keep pressing forward. Brings up our primary search field in New Jersey MLS. We have our cate pro property category drop down, which can be a little hard to see at first, this toggle switch under property category. By default, residential is single family, two to four families multifamily. We have condos and townhouses, different sorts of rentals and stuff too. For our exercise, we're going to be doing single family homes under residential. 
So under county, uh, as we noted, Bergen County is the uh, primary county of New Jersey MLS, though there are Essex County and Passaic County listings as well, some of Hudson. For our trial run, we're going to look at Bergen County listings. Um, under area or town, we can choose multiple towns here by holding the controller command key. By using the shift key, we could select all if we really wanted to. For our training today, I'm going to select Mawa, New Jersey, which is a beautiful town right off of Route 17 and 287. I went to Ramapo College there, really beautiful scenic area, and I'm going to select OK to lock that in. Make sure you hit OK. Um, it's not saving your criteria unless it's dropping down to the bottom. Make sure you have what you want here. Our record count in the top right shows us how many results are coming up. Um, if we click on the count, that will update if it hasn't updated already. We should be opting to be a property matchmaker for our buyer leads. We should be trying to send them exactly what they want and intuitively knowing their needs. If we're not sending the right type of house in the right neighborhood, that could create distrust or just inconvenience to these clients. So make sure you put thought and research into what houses you're automa automatically sending these folks. If David Blinder told me, do not send two bedroom houses, I'll set a minimum of three bedroom houses so that they're not getting um, properties that only have two bedrooms in them. We can see that has removed a few listings from our account. A lot of options here. Um, half bathrooms in MLS land are usually 0.1 for a powder room, as you could have multiple um, powder rooms. So let's say David Blinder said a minimum of one and one half bathroom. That would be 1.1. We could restrain this further by um, putting in our client's maximum or minimum budget here to uh, get rid of any houses that are overpriced or maybe even fixer uppers if they're too low on this spectrum. I'm going to leave that out. A lot of options. You should be spending time on every MLS you're a member of to get to know the intricacies. This certainly takes some time to learn it. Um, I can't say I've mastered all my MLSs, but I'm getting better every day. There is a lot of information bundled under additional criteria New Jersey MLS. It's a little hidden here, um, so you should spend some time scrolling through. In this case, let's say David Blinder said, do not send me houses in the flood zone. I'm not going to buy there. So I would choose or none. That would eliminate any houses potentially in the flood zone. So we can see our count has remained at 11. If we hit the search button, that would bring up these records. Um, what I'm going to actually do is save prospect as. So in this case, we already saved the prospect. This is going to save the search in another area so we can easily recall this and see what those listings are that are going out. So I'm going to save this as David Blinder Mawa and hit the Save button. I'll show you how to implement this in just a minute. So I had a search. I'm going to overwrite it. Email all matches. Fine. Prospect is saved. Contact manager updated. Great. I'm just going to hit save. I'm not going to change anything in this field. This can get confusing real fast. Now, let's let's imagine that uh, we're logging back into New Jersey MLS and we want to see where we find all this stuff. If you get a little bit lost here, you can go back under change delete prospect and they're right here. So we have our contact name, but the prospect name uh, is actually our attached search, which is a little confusing. And if we hit the search button there, we see the full reports for these properties. Uh, that's the default view. That's not necessarily what they're getting emailed out. That's what the us as the agency, they see more of a streamlined view. But if we wanted to then manually go through these listings um, to screen them, maybe set up some listings with that listing agent, this is where we'd find their contact information to reach out um, to schedule our showing. So this one says, text the listing agent. It's important to pay um, to pay attention to these and contact the listing agent the way they, they have asked to be, to be uh, contacted. Um, 
prior notice is often going to be required for most of these. We have a specific window of time too, so you want to go through these. Uh, our job is to schedule these showings, so we need to know when the house is available, when our client's available. That takes a lot of time scheduling showings. So that's one way to go through these. The full report is for us, the agent. That's not what they're being emailed out. Um, you could actually send these properties out to your client though by clicking on something like a customer report. Hit the go button. And you could actually text out listings as well from, um, from the customer report viewer, email them out. We can see it's removed the um, listing agent's information from what we're sending. We are now the head honcho. Our clients are only seeing us as the points of contact, which is great. That's what we want. We want to maintain our clientele and maybe not send them out in the wild. We want to be their go-to agent, their um, resource for all things real estate. And we can see the property taxes are on here. There's a lot of information on these MLS records. Uh, you should take it upon yourself to spend your time learning these. Um, the status on this one is residential A with active. Um, attorney review is notated differently in different M MLSs. On New Jersey MLS, I believe it's ARIP, attorney review in progress. That means an offer has been tentatively accepted. UC's under contract, so on and so forth. If you have questions on what these fields mean in New Jersey MLS, uh, leave a comment below the video and I'll get back to you. We're not going to go through all of that in this video though. You could print these out, save them as PDFs. Excuse me, a lot of options here. Let's see. So instead, I'm going to go back to our prospects field. A lot of options here. You could do run matches to, to see uh, what is being sent out to your clients. Last emailed. You can see if they have, when they've last viewed your emails, you can see when you've clicked on them, if they've opted out. So we can spend some time going through these different letters. A little pop-up appears if you leave the mouse. So E is to edit your prospect criteria if you things have changed, contact information. There is an expiration date uh, to your email. It's important to note that. It looks like this is about three months out. So you should be renewing those if your client's still active. When you click on the little V here next to your client name, now you can see how often they've been emailed out. Uh, you could eliminate those records. I don't know why you'd want to do that. If we hover over the D, that's if we wanted to del delete the client, if they were inactive, if they had already bought, we could print the prospect information. Um, under the view listing messages, if they had emailed us about a specific home, it would be there. And the P button is view their personalized kind of portal of what they're looking at here. This is very interesting. So this is a better idea of what the clients or leads are getting emailed out. It's really a beautiful look. And we can see that this is different than um, than the agent report or anything like that. It's, it's a little more modern. It's stylized. They can favorite the houses here. They can sort them differently. Um, these are the criteria results from that, that search we have executed and saved in New Jersey MLS. We can see how many recent sales in the neighborhood. Of course, the garbage truck's outside. Hopefully, you can't hear that. Today is a Tuesday in Denville, so it's garbage day. Um, they could print out some of the records here. They can see number of bedrooms, bathrooms. Um, they can click and view detail. Garbage man is still out there doing his thing, but that's not going to slow us down. This is loading up the photographs, nice interactive view for your client. We can see they're loading over here. Virtual tours are attached. Remarks. Your client can send you a direct message if they have a question or like, hey, we got to see this one right away. Encourage them to utilize these fields. They could also request a date where you will show them the property. These are only going to you. We can see the taxes on these luxury properties, though. They can get a little bit pricey at 33,000 Mawa, so there's just about as much information as your client would want to get started on the properties here. We've got a price reduction, acreage. So you should really familiarize yourself. Uh, we've got the school system, 
whole history of the property of price changes, previous listings, stuff like that. A lot, a lot of different stuff on here. They could share the listing. They could email it out to you, friend, spouse, favorite it, thumbs down, I don't like it. So back to this view, which we call the uh, dashboard or collaboration view. This is what your client sees. I think it's modern. I think it's cool. And I feel like they enjoy that. You're keeping them in the know. If for some reason you, uh, you get lost, so again, that's under, go back to the desktop view. This is your login view, New Jersey MLS. You could come back to all of those by clicking on change or delete prospect to return to that field of all of your leads. Since we saved the search, though, we could also, you and I can go to manage, manage save searches as the agent. And this should be appearing uh, on the screen somewhere here. We can also view our save searches from this screen specifically. Oh, whoops, phone is dropping. We can also pull up our save searches, even if they're not being automatically emailed out, though, from that save search field on New Jersey MLS. So I know this was a long one. I know that uh, there's a lot of advanced functionality in New Jersey MLS. I just wanted to get you started in this video. If there's any other topics on New Jersey MLS that you have a question on, you can uh, contact me directly, davidaveblinder.com. Certainly leave a comment below the video and I will help as best as you can. I just wanted to get you started with these automatic email and drip campaigns. Hopefully you have an idea of how they work. So thank you for tuning in to New Jersey Real Estate Training again. Please subscribe so you're notified when I put out a new training video to help you with various MLSs in our KV Core software and other good stuff as well. Uh, if you have any questions about joining EXP Realty or onboarding, you can email me. My direct cell phone is 973-727. 2037 that makes my phone ring we have an office extension 866-201-6210 you can reach exp there thanks everybody for tuning in and i'll see you on the next training video